so today we will talk about the examination of the inguinal hernia so the steps involved in the hernia examination is inspection palpation percussion and the auscultation before starting the examination first of all you should introduce yourself to the patient take informed consent from the patient explain all the steps of the examination to the patient and expose the patient from zip sternum up to the mid thigh and the proper positioning is for the hernia examination is supine position or the standing position so the first step in the hernia examination is inspection so inspect the inguinal area by any visible swelling and note the site of the swelling size of the swelling and the shape of the swelling also look look for any visible skin changes over the swelling like stretch marks scar marks and any pigmentation also look for the hair distribution over the swelling and also uh, note any visible sign of the inflammation like redness uh, and also uh, note any superficial dilated veins mm, similarly in inspection we do cuff impulse test uh, so the cuff impulse test is done by asking the patient to tell uh, to tell his face to the opposite side and ask him to cuff uh, and note whether the hernia become uh, permanent or not because uh, on cuffing uh, there is increase in the intra-abdominal pressure and the hernia become more permanent the second step in the hernia examination is palpation so first of all uh, warm up your hand uh, check the temperature over the lump with the back of your hand then superficially palpate the lump uh, by any tenderness while looking at the face of the patient after superficial palpation deeply palpate the swelling and feel um, the size of the uh, lump uh, both the lengthwise and the widthwise shape whether the uh, swelling is uh, globular or rounded in shape and also uh, feel the margin whether the lump has regular or irregular margin and also the consistency of the swelling means that whether the swelling is soft or hard so to differentiate between the dyke and the endike hernia we do the deepening occlusion test and it is done by occluding the deepening at the midpoint of the inguinal ligament in between the anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle with the finger of your hand and ask the patient to cuff if the hernia does not come out on uh, cuffing by occluding the deep ring, it is endike hernia. But if the hernia come out on occluding the deep ring, it is dike hernia. Means that the hernia has come out directly to the posterior abdominal wall and not to the inguinal canal. So on deep ring occlusion test, the endike hernia does not come out and the dike hernia, they come out on the deep ring occlusion test. Now let's talk about the anatomy of the inguinal canal. So the boundaries of the inguinal canal are anteriorly the canal is bounded by the external oblique muscle. Posteriorly uh, the canal consists of the transversus abdominis muscle and inferiorly the canal is bounded by the inguinal ligament and superiorly the canal uh, contain the conjoined tendon. So let's suppose this is anterior superior iliac spine uh, and this one is a pubic tubercle and in between anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle is present at the inguinal ligament at the midpoint of the pubic tubercle and the anterior superior iliac spine is present the deep ring and near to the pubic tubercle is present the superficial ring and in between the deep ring and the superficial uh, ring is present the inguinal canal and to this canal the spermatic card runs from the scrotum into the abdominal Activity. So the endicarnia they come uh, to the inguinal canal while the diacarnia they come out directly to the posterior abdominal wall uh, to the hessel back triangle. Now the third step in the uh, hernia examination is percussion. So percuss over the lump. If the node is dull, it means that the hernia contain omenta. But if the percussion node is tympanic, it means that the hernia contain intestine and the post step in the mm, uh, hernia examination is auscultation so also as auscultate over the hernia for uh, any vascular buoy with the stethoscope then uh, uh, the difference between the 
scrotal and the inguinoscrotal swelling so if you get about the swelling with the help of your index finger and the thumb then it is scrotal mass but if you cannot above the swelling then it is inguinoscrotal mass it means that the mass is coming uh, from the abdominal cavity to the inguinal canal and to the scrotum so you cannot uh, get about the swelling it means that it is the inguinoscrotal mass but if you get about the swelling it means that it is scrotal mass means that the mass is arising uh, from the uh, scrotum of the testes at the end uh, cover the patient and say thanks to the patient so it was all about the examination of inguinal hernia